Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Obviously, uh, today was just out of this world crazy. And uh, yeah, we're recording another video because of a couple things. A uh, few things on the market have progressed. Now, if you haven't watched the earlier video, check it out. I had my hero pack in there. Uh, not only that, it was just insane. Like the, the prices on the market, we'll never see anything like that again in terms of a drop and then a rebound. And it does bring a couple questions. So this uh, this video tonight is going to be a little bit like of a follow-up and uh, a little bit more discussion-based because there's definitely a lot of things to talk about. Again, if you guys enjoy the content, please drop a thumbs up and just thank you to everybody watching the videos. I want you guys to know everyone that watched these videos, I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel uh, and, and, just, and just being here, all right? And hopefully everything is going well for you guys as well. Uh, obviously wishing the best for everybody always um and yeah let's get back to things so uh really guys today you know there was a crazy mess up and two, there was actually two mess ups the other one's not even being talked about a lot but they put two packs in the store uh you can see it from my video earlier they basically put a pack in the store it said foot hero 25k pack uh and the interesting part about it which i didn't really realize at the at the at, at the uh at the time was two things right there's the untradeable sign on it so it tells me that this pack was actually supposed to be released today. Um, I think it was supposed to be released at 25,000 coins. And I think it was going to be one of those things that the, the, the community would be like, EA is the best. Wow, this is great from EA. And it's also sick because, look, EA is going to, it's a win-win. EA is going to win a lot, make a lot of money, 500 feet points, $5, and uh, 25k coins. So listen, I think this was supposed to be released today. I think, again, as um, we can see here, it was probably supposed to be untradeable. Uh, and, and so that's what I see here. We also had another pack today. It was like 82 plus team of the week. And I think it was a lot of coins, but a little bit more FIFA points. So, you know, that was probably them trying to make some money off that too. Although obviously that one wouldn't have been as big of a hit as, uh, you know, this pack. Um, but besides the point, two things here to talk about, right? Number one, it was supposed to be untradeable. And number two, it expired in six days. So this was supposed to be out in the store for a week. Uh, now, before I get into any larger discussion about this and the future of FIFA, of what this could mean, um, the craziest part is we've not seen EA tweet about this yet, right? So I've been sitting here saying I'm going to make another video tonight where EA is hopefully going to tweet out about this and I'm going to be able to kind of like analyze it and talk about it and, you know, give kind of my take on what's going to happen. Now, regardless of whatever EA says, because they'll probably tweet something out overnight or tomorrow, um, it's not really going to matter that much in the long run. They're just going to probably tweet out that they're going to investigate it, right? Because the, yesterday they said, we are aware that some players uh, received gold items instead of ones to watch items within their ones to watch pre-order pack. This issue has been addressed and we'll be following up with impacted players, right? This is literally from the ones to watch pre-order pack. So this is like, I mean, this is like a week ago. So EA is very slow moving on this stuff, but as large of a mess up today, it's very interesting to see all that really happened was right as after I'd posted my video about 1.30, we started seeing these, or at least during my video, we started seeing this crazy market rebound, and I couldn't figure out why. Because I was like, how is this supply just going to stop, right? Really, because the market should not have done that today. Uh, and I was sitting there like, I don't know what's going on, but we got to buy some stuff. So I bought some Messies. We made like 120K, right? It was good. I didn't make as much as I could have because I was a little bit late. I didn't notice that this was happening. Um, I thought the pack was there to stay. Uh, so, Yeah crazy day and they still haven't commented about it and then as i was saying they basically probably at some point during my video earlier like 20 30 minutes after content just removed the pack uh so number one i was a bit lucky because i was able to get it open uh but it's just not fair it's not fair at all like they can't put that in the store for two reasons saying that it's out in six days and it's also was supposed to be untradeable so it's the wrong pack anyway so my take is that i think like Number one, the, the sucky situation here that I've seen over time with EA, and I've never been on the right side of it, is that I'm pretty sure everyone that opened it today is going to get compensated. And the reason because of that and why it's been like this in the past is that when it comes to all the legal like wording, technically I got scammed today, which I obviously didn't. I know I didn't, but everybody that opened it, it was actually supposed to be untradeable by the wording and, and the look of the pack. So technically that's also a scam. What is even more of a scam though you know is the fact that like they've just removed some pack that said was going to be out for six days that's just they can't really do that it says it's, if, so, if they say something expires in one week and then it, they just take it away i mean that's also a scam so you've got multiple scams going on here uh instead of kind of tweeting ea today i'm decided to make another youtube video uh because i figured this would be a better way to kind of get my thoughts out about this problem so here's what here's what's probably going to happen now i my, my good friend Jake was kind of tweeting about this today. 
EA is definitely going to compensate. They, they will. I'm pretty sure they will because here's what you have happening. You've got some people that did the pack today. You've got some people that lost a ton of coins uh, because values of cards decreased. You've got some people that lost a ton of coins because people panic sold cards. Uh, you, you've got so many scenarios going on here today that there's no way there's not going to be something coming out of this. And I believe also, even though it's a Saturday, that's also why EA is taking so long because they've got to figure out a way. How can we legally write this out? that's not going to be more illegal than what we've already done because they've just committed crimes today on this game. Um, and uh, yeah, so how do we get this to be the best way? So looking at Jake's tweet, he says, what should EA do now uh, to make this right? Now, first of all, there's nothing they can do to make this right. This is a huge mess up. This is one of the larger mess ups I've ever seen. I mean, this is on the level of like FIFA 19 prime icons when EA is telling us all here, these are going to be the moments SPCs. Boom, they just released the primes and we don't get the moments and that's it. We get scammed, right? So it's on that level of like scam. Uh, only thing I can think that's relatively fair is the same hero pack or at least 25k for an untradeable hero. I know you're going to think it's ridiculous, but they may also have to comment to people who did open. So listen, Jake actually thinks this. He does. He's just trying not to get fried on Twitter. But this is what happens with EA. Like I've seen so many times they've messed up with foot champs rewards or there's not a certain amount of players in the player pool for like a campaign player pick and anyone who did it got another one because by legal wording it was still messed up even though they got an extra pick so i save your rage for when that does happen um look the way i see it is that i think ea is going to re-release this probably at some point i'm thinking as a 25k untradeable pack i think now i don't think this was a mistake to release i think they meant to release it i just think they meant to release it as a untradeable pack because the other pack looks like it was programmed to be in the store as well. So I don't know when this is going to happen. Um, they may also just end up, you know, a theory was that they were going to just give a hero pack out to everybody. But I don't think they're going to do that. I mean, the point of this pack was that it was 25k to go untradeable for a hero. That doesn't really hurt the market that much because it's only 25k. What would happen is that people would end up selling their team uh, or, or the position of the player they packed if they were going to use that hero because I see that most hero heroes are usable this year I'd say like 60 to 70 percent 80 percent right now you can use in game uh, So a lot of people would just sell players in that position to be a little bit of a market crash uh, For you know all around the board because people would be replacing players a bit and uh, yeah So that's you know, that's I think the most likely scenario is EA is probably at some point gonna redo this whole thing just as untradeable uh, But you know, it's 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 a bit of a weird one. Like, would EA go and give the same pack? But that's impossible, right? Because a person like me who already opened it, how's that gonna work? They can't they can't just decide that it's gonna be the same pack or give me the same pack. I don't know. We're gonna see, guys. It's gonna be very confusing to see what happens. There's a lot of illegal wording all over the place, and you know, it's unfortunate because EA have not said a thing. They've not said a thing the whole time. They've not said a thing. So. I don't know when EA is going to say a thing, but they still haven't said a thing. And obviously, you know, you guys can see it's supposed to be untradeable. Uh, so, yeah, my my apologies for not realizing that earlier today. Um, I probably should have realized that. And, uh, yeah, so no tweet out yet about them uh, saying anything. And, uh, yeah, that's quite interesting. So, anyways, moving on. Obviously, guys, today this did a lot to the market, right? The market had the craziest day today. Um, and, you know, it's one of those ones where... We had really, really cheap prices for heroes. Um, I made decent coins, not as good as what I could have done. Uh, and we're going to kind of go through for a second and discuss just a couple of things that I think is going to happen. Because, you know, there's probably a lot of market questions now. Like, what's going to happen based on this compensation? And that's what I'm here to tell you. So here's, here's my take on how I feel. Most people today, which was a lot, like, it's not everybody, but... I would give like a 15 to 25 percent of people probably were able to log on today and open this pack and that's a lot of people today that got a hero into their club um that is valued more than that pack right like it's crazy to say that but most players if you go on flipping right now and you actually look at the prices of these heroes which they're probably coming back down again are they uh they're actually pretty stable i mean they're they're actually pretty stable. They're not down that much. Uh, but my point is that, you know, outside of uh, Al Jaber, uh, yeah, I mean, even like, and just Campos, like none, of, even, even you could also say Rickon is, you know, there with the, the price of the pack, but even like all the new heroes. So my point is that every, like there's three players in here that you wouldn't have made coins on the pack. So that's like three out of, I don't even know. Is this like 18 players a team? 
So most people today who open that pack are making coins, tradable coins, which means that they have more coins to spend on their team and upgrading. And, and a lot of people were able to get like Yaya Toure, uh, you know, like uh, Lucio players that are like a lot of coins, you know, Marquisio like 635k. So this is a whole nother group of people now that have this buying power, this like immense spending power. So my take is that, you know, tomorrow we have squad battle rewards. Um, and then Mondays are a day where the market is usually very high on FIFA, right? This is like tomorrow. Again, we have people getting weekend league rewards. So buying more teams Monday, we, you know, and squad battles. And then Monday we've got people again, finishing more rewards and Mondays. Usually we see the market really rising. So my take is this, I don't see EA like doing any sort of compensation within the next at least four or five days. They haven't even addressed it on Twitter. And usually when they address it on Twitter, it's like a three day to five day turnaround for them to compensate. Sometimes more of the urgent issues are like two to three days, but these people do not move fast at EA Sports. Uh, they take their time. And for that reason, I don't see us going into like some other panic, you know, kind of window just yet. Uh, what I do think is going to happen eventually to the market is that we are going to get the compensation packs or whatever it is. If it's like they're going to put it back in the store next Friday and everybody can do it again for 25K and this time it's untradeable, that is going to cause a lot of market problems, right? That's going to cause a lot of problems with players like, uh, you know, any gold card that's like on that kind of like 15 you know, 20K range, because there's a couple things that happens when they put packs like that in the store. Wow, Felix is already 4K. So clearly I've, I've missed a little bit with the market here because he is just mudded in price. Um, you could probably, you know, look at like other other fullbacks in the game. So like, I would say even Mendy is a good example. Like he's probably 100K. So someone that doesn't have a lot of coins uh, would be probably willing to go, number one, sell their team to go get that pack with coins. Now, it... it in, in the scenario where, like, it's a $5, uh, you know, pack, I would also say a lot of people are going to spend money just to know they're going to get a guaranteed hero. But I think a lot of people would sell teams, whether it's, like, Mendy or, uh, you know, you'll see players like Joe Gomez, like, really cheap players, probably going down a lot. People sell their teams, they go buy the pack, and then well, let's say they get Marquezio, right? So that's, like, the next... That's like the next part of all this. And that's why it's going to be a really crazy day on the market when they do end up doing something with compensation. I think they will. That's my that's my my guess here. 600, let, let's say you get 600K Marquisio. Now it's untradeable, right? But that is going to be a problem because then you're going to start to see, you know, people have these kind of starter meta, meta teams. Uh, whether it's like Valverde at 65K or, uh, you know, a cheaper center mid, maybe like Gold Kessie, right? People, Tanali, people are going to sell those players then after they get the player in the position. So you're going to have a whole lot of selling and a lot of people are going to be starting to move up a tier in the meta is how I'm, how I'm looking at it. But that's still going to be like, I think a week away. I, I don't see that being soon because I just don't see EA fixing this problem for a little while. I think they'll address it some point overnight or tomorrow. And, uh, you know, then, then we'll see what happens from there. Uh, so that's the next interesting part of the market. But the really interesting part of the market, number one, we saw some crazy drops today, right? And I was telling you guys, like, I was looking at Neymar for, like, I think it was, like, 410. He's back up to 520. This is why you never panic so, though. I have Neymar on my team. I have Sun in my team. Like, these players, you never, you never panic so. You can always sell ahead for a promo if the market's high, but never panic so. You will literally always regret it. Like, like some people probably had heroes in their teams today and they probably sold them so low. Like imagine you had Yaya Toure pay one six and you sold him, you know, you, you panic sold him for like 800K and then he goes back to one two, right? You feel terrible. So if you were one of those people today, I'm not going to be a hindsight merchant, but learn your lesson. Don't panic sell. Don't do it, right? Ginola, for example, was down at like one three, could snipe him for one one. Imagine you were a panic seller and you listed for one two. Now, what I will say though, to be fair to the people that may have panic sold today, I actually think the market on these heroes would not have gone back up for like another hour or two, and it would not have gone up nearly as much as it has gone up, right? Like Ginola's gone from 1.3 to 1.9, and this morning I couldn't fig figure out why this was happening. Basically, we had all this supply coming on. As the supply was coming, people were buying, but the supply was just even killing the demand, even at the discounted prices. And then boom, EA gets rid of the pack in the store. All the buyers are like, Oh my gosh, look at these prices. I got to get these cards, right? And then there's this crazy panic buying the starts because there's no more supply. And everybody's like, this card's going to the moon. I got to buy. So that happens earlier. And to be fair to you guys that 
I don't know if you panic sold any cards, but if you did, it's not really a fair assessment because you guys kind of got screwed by EA. And that's why I just hate the stuff that EA does because they don't think, right? Like if they release this pack, they know they're going to cause panic. They need to just let it sit. Right? Like, I think EA in today's scenario needs to leave the pack there and just understand they messed up. Like, it's even worse that they got rid of it because you've got so much happening on this game with people's teams and stuff like that based on their decisions. So, I wasn't a fan of that. But, yeah, I, I mean, I've had Neymar. I picked up him up for 514. He was like 610 last night. But he was down at 400k today. We we stuck through. Uh, we didn't sell him. Same thing with Sun, even though he's down a ton. So, that's how you got to do it, man. That's how you got to do it. So, as for the market, um, here's where I'm at. I got up to like 2 mil today. I sold David Beckham for 550, which was actually an incredible sell price. I had paid like, I think I paid like 590 or 580 for him. And the guy was like 430 earlier. Uh, so I got some great coinage out of him. Because even after the rebound today, he was still like 510. So I'm happy to lose a little bit. And then I just like, I actually this afternoon, because the icons are down so much right now. I actually got on the icon market for like the first time all year for the most part. I'm trying to make some coins because I've got to get this grind going. Uh, we got to get a lot of coins for Black Friday. It's a sick promo. I don't spend money on this account. So we just, we got to get, we got to get it going. Um, and so, yeah, I bought Bobby Moore for like 103 euro for uh, like 108 vintage for like 170. I sold a Marquinhos. I actually did sell Benzema guys just because I don't think I'm going to use them anymore. Uh, you know, so I wanted to move on from him and I got a pull at 240. And then I've got some other icons that I picked up. I did go shopping. A lot of these cheaper icons went down a lot, like literally like 40, 30, 20%. And I picked up a lot of these cards fresh as they were getting panic sold. And then other than that, we don't have too much, right? So here's where I, here's where I'm really looking at the market uh in the perspective of like what's next right and so for me for me what i really like is i i actually do like a lot of cars and i think we're going to start to see the market kind of going down a bit again tonight and i and i just see us see i see us thinking the rise the rise is going to happen in the morning tomorrow i i i think there's going to be another rise tomorrow last week we had squab out of rewards and the market uh really did well like sunday morning like i remember seeing the prices on sunday morning were really good all these roads to the finals again are down to their prices last night. I still think they're going to go lower later. So I don't even think there's a buy on any of these cards yet. I still see them going lower, but obviously new cards, you cannot, you cannot, uh, you cannot skip out on. Uh, you've got some crazy low team of the week prices. Um, so these are interesting. And, you know, just for the sake of like investing right over time, you know, a Spanish right back, look, don't buy this card. Just stock one over the next couple of days. Uh, for like and wait like months right this may take like till christmas time but we've got some crazy opportunities i was talking the other week about just club stocking right like if you guys open your team of the week packs from foot champs don't sell the cards just put them in your club and wait even last week's team of the week we've still got a bunch of players at 9k just do some passive income investing when you guys get some coins in this game just put some players into your club wow delafue is down at 34 man that's crazy, right? And I think this might be also people going to uh, 29 or 31. Might be people going to uh, uh, Danjuma today. That's a, it's an excellent SBC. Um, so love love team of the week as well. You know, I think team of the week you've probably got a little bit more time on uh, to to invest. You've probably got to like Monday, but like team you know Timo Werner 20k. Really, you're probably looking at him at like 19k. But uh, that that's a phenomenal looking purchase. Millie Savage really low um so a lot of discard team of the weeks so you could go there as well and then golds man like like all these golds i like i think golds you know i, I golds had this really nice rebound earlier but you know they're, they're going to drop again now uh as the the nighttime hours are coming so just look for some some cheap prices overnight i think we're going to see a nice rise in the morning tomorrow um you know outside of the fact that we get some like crazy tradable content on sunday with the market should do really well sunday afternoon should be a little bit of a lull again like sunday night but Monday, guys, I, I think outside of EA, like, re-releasing this pack, most of the market by Monday afternoon should be, like, really high. The only way I, you know, obviously can't necessarily give you guys my all with, like, a prediction, at the end of the day, EA control the market, right? They control the prices. They control the content. I can't tell you that EA is not going to release, like, some player pick or something early on that everybody's going to feel super inclined to do. Uh, so to, you know, that's the other variable with the foot market. I can't tell you that's not going to happen. So a lot of the time, what I like to tell people is like, it don't risk it anymore around the 1 PM content. A lot of times in the past, people would like risk it 
EA, EA drops a hell of a lot of content now. They really, really, really do. So don't be that guy that's kind of risking it around content time to hold after. You sell your cards when the market's up. And then, you know, if you start to see, if you start to see the market, uh, you know, you know, really uh, not dealing with any content after you sold uh, and the market starts going up, then you could buy cards again and sell even higher at night. So yeah, for me, like, look, I picked up this mid Clivert. Um, I picked him up for 229 fresh. He was like 285 yesterday. So uh, I like a lot of the, even the icons that are like lower tier. I like a lot of these cards right now. I think a lot of these guys are, uh, are going to start to kind of slowly go back up. So I'm going to try to work through those icons, get a couple of sales there and then move on to the to the next ones. But yeah, we've, we've seen we've seen some really nice rebounds with a lot of these cards. Um, Obviously, you know, Marquezio yesterday was like, what's I think this morning he was like 800K, right? Goes down to 520, probably was like 350 to 400 for like an hour back to 680. But now what you're seeing is slow drops, right? So you guys got to understand as well with the heroes today, a lot of supply on these heroes and that's not going away, right? So people panic bought and sold. I don't think these heroes are going to necessarily get back to their previous prices just because of the amount of supply we got today with these cards. So thank you guys for watching my video. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys in a, another video later. Peace.